Hello, Washington Middle School. This is Mrs. Benson, and I wanted to go over a couple of things about our cafeteria fire drill practice. For the other teachers and other classes in the building, the fire drill that we have for the cafeteria will not affect the entire building. In the cafeteria, we're going to blow a whistle to initiate the drill. From there, there are three zones in the cafeteria. Zones 1 and Zones 2 will actually exit the same door. This is going to take a little while because there are quite a few students in each of the zones. By tables, Zone 1 will quietly exit the cafeteria using the doors near the ramp. So by table, students will go out that door and out the front doors in a single file line. Once Zone 1 has been fully cleared, Zone 2 will go out those same doors by tables and then in a line out the front door. It's important to stay in line with your table because once you get outside, your zone leader will walk down that line of students and take attendance by table. They have attendance sheets that are listed by table. From there, we will dismiss students back to their classes from outside. If you're a classroom teacher that picks up your class of students from the cafeteria, you'll want to meet those students outside. Zone 3 goes out a different entrance. Zone 3 will leave when Zone 1 leaves by table, out the doors that are by the bathrooms, and going back down the back hallway to exit the doors by the other entrance, by JCLC. So those students in zone three will meet over here. Again, it's important to stay in line with your table because your attendance will be taken by the zone leader according to your table. These students will also be dismissed back to classes from the cafeteria when we're outside. Teachers have a list of the, of the lunch seating chart. And I will show you what that looks like that they will be able to access in case students are confused about where they sit. You can see that the lunch seating chart is, is arranged by grades and which zone leader is in charge of which zone. For example, fifth grade has Miss Carlson for zone one, Miss Johnson for zone two, and Miss Robinson for zone three. And those seating charts are available for teachers. They will have these same directions as well. If you have any questions, please be sure to let us know. Again, the purpose of practicing a cafeteria fire drill is for safety reasons in the event that the fire alarm were to go off when we were in the cafeteria. Remember, Washington Middle School students and the Lobo Way have us being safe, being responsible, and being respectful. Have a great day.